Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to fix the RetroArch XMB theme on your PS Vita. So you guys might know if you use RetroArch on your PS Vita, this is what the theme, kind of like the XMB theme looks like. It looks really, really bad. But anyway, I found out how to change it to the PC version. There's actually different themes that you can change. If you scroll over to the driver section, press circle, scroll down to where it says menu, you can change it here to whatever you want. So if you change it to Ozone or something like that, and then press X to go back and then go back to the quick menu scroll down to where it says configuration file press circle and press circle on save current configuration and then if you close out of RetroArch and just like reopen it it will actually have the different theme on here this isn't actually the main X and B theme it's just like a custom one but um, let me show you see so, yeah, I like this one but obviously we need to change it back to X and B because that's the one I actually want to change so if I just go into um, driver on here or it's settings yeah dr settings drivers we can actually just change it back to x and b because this is the one i actually want to change press x go back main menu um configuration file save current configuration press circle on that and yeah what we're going to do is we're going to edit this x and b and make it look really nice so we need to scroll up we need to go into vita shell and we just need to go and start this up once vita shell loads you need to press select on your ps vita go and connect this to your computer and i will show you guys how to edit this file so once you guys are on your PC, you'll need to go to this GitHub. I will leave a link to it in the description. This is the RetroArch assets. So what we have to do is download the latest X and B assets and we will be able to use this um, basically with our PS Vita to make it look like the, you know, the new X and B. So if you just click on back, if you just click clone or download and just click on download zip, this is going to download the complete zip file of assets. And I'll just give this about two minutes to download. It's um, not really a large file, but it's just got loads of small files in it. So yeah, I'll wait for this to download and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so once this has done downloading, all we have to do is just go to our downloads folder and find it in there. And as you can see, here are my RetroArch assets. Now what we have to do is double click on this and it's just going to open um, just like this. Double click to go into this folder as well. Then on the PS Vita, what we have to do is we have to find a data folder. We have to find the RetroArch folder. Um, somewhere in here where is it retroarch that on there and what we actually have to do is find XMB on here and we have to drag and drop that into the assets folder now the nice thing about XMB on this is it does get updated all the time this one was last updated around 27 days ago 28 days ago so yeah it does get updates and yeah we're just gonna drag the latest XMB into our PS Vita's retroarch folder as you can see only takes a few seconds and now we've just got to wait for for it to copy across just around 50 megabytes so yeah we're going to wait for this i will be back um actually i'll go on my psv to when it's done and i'll show you guys what the new xmb looks like so now we are back off our computer what we can do is just close down vita shell let's go and find retroarch on our home screen and let's boot it up and hopefully our xmb should be the brand new kind of like the new looking theme so let's just go and start this up right now when you're booting up into the brand new xmb it takes about five seconds longer to boot so just keep that in mind it's slightly slower but there you go booted into it and as you guys can see it's really nice looking and it's you know the xmb that you will have over on your computer or playstation or anything else that um, has this kind of like um, you know latest retroarch theme i don't know why it's glitched up on the ps vita and it has that really like basic looking one but um yeah there you go so this is how you update it and um yeah so yeah that is pretty much it for this video that is how you get the brand new x and b for retroarch over on your ps vita if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one